Okay, so here we are at the Armory Kitchen. Uh, we're cooking for the uh, folks that are working here. They're supplying Virginia troops during the American Revolution. And um, there are about four or so workers that are on this property. All of them are going to obviously need to eat. So what we've got here is whole wheat bread with some blackberry preserve. Over here we have some rice with some molasses added to sweeten it up a little bit. Uh, we have mutton with peppers over here and a stew, because this is kind of thick, with um, mutton, turnip greens, and we have added some of these cow peas to it as well. And that's what we've got on the table. Today we're cooking up some black eyed pea fritters. Uh, this is a very interesting recipe because it goes basically from Africa to the Caribbean to Virginia. Uh, and so uh, there are a number of cultures in Africa that have black eyed pea fritters. Uh, it's often called aki there in Africa. Uh, and they're uh, done a little differently from this. They're gonna take the dry frit of black eyed peas and crush them into a powder and then make the fritter out of them. Whereas by the time the recipe ends up in the first cookbook written and published here in Virginia, The Virginia Housewife by Mary Randolph, she has you boil the beans and then mash them up. So I'm following Mary Randolph's recipe today. We boiled our beans, we mashed them up, we mixed them up with a bit of onion, garlic, some spices, uh, some uh, egg and flour to bind it all together, and then we're just gonna fry those off in a little bit of water. Dinner. There is a reason why you're eating what you're eating. There's mm -hmm. a reason why it's salt and pepper and not, not salt and cinnamon. Um, that, that sometimes has to do with um, availability, sometimes has to do with, with fashion, with taste, with class. Um, that social caste system has a lot more effect on why we eat what we eat today than we might think. Explain it, right? The influence. What'd you say, sir? I said uh, the African influence on Southern cooking was. been something else in the pan because some mm -hmm. of these have a little gray tinge and I don't 